The third and final stage of assembly adds the motorized base unit to drive all the planets in accurately paced orbits around the Sun, using components supplied with issues 48 to 52. Fix the three legs to the underside of the motor unit base using two M3A 10mm Allen key screws for each leg. Tighten with a 2.5mm Allen key. Peel the backing strip from the leg rubber pads and stick one to the underside of each foot. Fit the power speed controller to the base plate so its spindle protrudes downwards through the large round hole. The wires should be on the side facing the switch location holes. Secure the controller with two M3 6mm screws. Push the brass knob onto the power speed controller spindle. Align it with the flat face of the spindle. Fit the power inlet socket into the D-shaped hole in the base plate. Secure it with two M2 5mm screws. Fit the on-off reversing switch into the rectangular hole in the base plate so the toggle protrudes to the underside. Secure with two 8mm KB 2.3 countersunk screws. Place the base unit casing over the assembled wiring. Push down and twist into the outer groove of the base plate to secure it. Insert the noise proofing foam over the power speed controller and around the switch and power inlet socket. Feed the wire connectors up through the cutouts. Remove the base plate with the column support from the stage 2 orrery. Pull off the three nylon feet. These are no longer required. Lay the rubber pad for the gearbox over the column support. The large holes go over the Allen key screw heads. The small hole aligns with the threaded socket for the motor casing. Lay the motor and gearbox on the rubber pad and align the three fixing holes. Secure with three 6mm PM3 screws. Connect the red and blue wires from the motor and gearbox to the switch. Place the base plate over the casing and tuck the wires carefully inside. Note that the motor is shaped to fit around the sides of the power speed controller and switch assembly, so rotate it until it seats neatly. Fix the base unit together with three 45mm KM5A screws. Locate all the screws with their sockets before fully tightening them. Stand the orrery gear assembly in the column support and tighten the grub screw. Ensure the blade ended drive shaft from the sun inserts into the flat socket at the end of the motor drive shaft. Gently rotate the sun until the drive shaft drops into place. All the gears should now mesh. Check that the planet arms fan out in order of increasing width and height. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Ceres, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto and Eris. Plug the AC power adapter into the socket on the underside of the base unit. Plug the adapter into a main supply. The orrery should start rotating. The speed of rotation can be adjusted using the power speed controller knob. The direction of rotation can be reversed using the switch. Align each of the planet arms with their respective symbols and names on the base plate and engraved gear. Release the grub screw for each arm in turn, rotate the arm, then retighten the screw. Refer to issue 1, page 8 for a list of planet symbols. If your solar system model does not function properly, check the following troubleshooter tips. If the model doesn't rotate, check that the power adapter is plugged into the base unit and is connected to a live main supply. Slide the on-off switch back and forth. If there is still no movement, disconnect the power adapter, then dismantle the base unit. With the central drive shaft removed, plug the power adapter in and switch on. The motor drive shaft should rotate. If it doesn't rotate, check the wiring. Refer to issue 48, pages 4 to 7. Make sure no wires are damaged or incorrectly attached. Reassemble the base unit and switch on again. If some planets won't rotate, you may have fitted some gears incorrectly. Check that every gear wheel is meshed with the next one. If they aren't, recheck the assembly guide for that phase 
ensuring you have used all the correct toothed gears. Make sure every gear sandwich is fitted the correct way up and in the correct order. Many of the gears are similar in appearance, but vary slightly in the number of teeth. Count the teeth if you are unsure. If the planet arms move jerkily, check that a plastic washer has been fitted between every gear sandwich. Ensure every gear sandwich is pushed firmly against the one above it, with no slack or wobble, but not so tightly that it won't rotate. Ensure all screws are tight in every phase. If the problem persists, disconnect the power supply and lift off the sun and attach drive shaft. Now turn the model's gear by hand by pushing on the earth support arm. All the model's gears should rotate smoothly. If not, check that the grub screw in the earth support arm is tight. If the model sounds noisy, check you have fitted the noise proof foam around the motor and gearbox. Check you have stuck the rubber pads to the brass feet. Additional assembly and troubleshooter tips can be found in issue 52 on pages 6 to 9. Your solar system model should work continuously for many hours at a time, but for safety we recommend that you switch off and disconnect the power adapter whenever the model is not being used.